Hi guys, it's Suzanne HB, Crazy Just Might Work on Instagram, and this tutorial will be on the Gypsy Moth design of mine. This is one of the ones that I've posted on uh, Instagram. On this one I use limited edition bands with the inner bands being uh, marbled, mixed marbled limited edition, which gave it an interesting look on the inside. And another one, sorry for my hand, I posted it was the original one I posted also in limited edition bands uh, which goes very nicely but it all work, also works out with um, bands that aren't limited edition bands and that's what I'm going to use today because I realise not everyone has limited edition bands so today I'm going to actually use uh, glitter gold and then the inside is gold jelly just the um, rainbow, all rainbow loom brand um, the 600 pack dual layer, I think that's ocean and hot pink um, and then I've got another couple of colours there, I think it might be uh, Persian turquoise or Egyptian and pink and yellow, or yellow and pink so they're the 300 bands, so they are the thinner bands but it's still as you can see, turns out looking really nice, the dual layer bands go well on the bands that aren't uh, capped on the inside so the outside wing colour look nice with the dual layer bands because it's twisted a little you can get to see the underside of them. Alrighty, so I'll leave that one there so we can keep track of some colours. So you'll just need your hook and your bands and a C-clip and away we go. So we start with the band that's going to be the connecting band. Now these can be um, any kind of colour that you like. Uh, it will be the band that sits underneath the wing. I've also used the same connecting band here between um, to catch sort of the wings here. In my other ones I've used toning bands. Like in here I've used the purple and I've kept the burret. Um, I've kept so the purple underneath and the purple through and then I've used this connecting band as being a different colour. On other ones I actually used all of these connecting bands as being tonal to the wings so it's really up to you what you would like to do with the colors okay so I'm going to use this white the same way I've used it in the example so the first thing we need to do is just get a cap band and pull a single band through it we're going to work one side each time and we will be turning it but when we turn it we don't have many bands on the hook Alrighty, so let's go and start with this first colour that I've got over there. So you get a band of the outside colour of the wing and just pull it under the left hand <coughs> side and reconnect. Then you get an inside wing colour and you're going to actually cap that on the hook. So twist it into a figure eight, put it back on the hook, grab it because we're going to pretend that that's just a single band now. We're going to act like a single band. Pull it under that left hand side. There will be a fair amount of tension on it. And hook that over just so it was a single band. The next one is a single band of the outside colour. And that will just go under those two loops there. One side but two loops of the cap band and the gold. Try and keep your bands as straight as you can. It's easier to um, fix it up now than it is to fix it up when it's all done. Okay. So that's our next open band. So the next one will be a capped gold jelly. So we put it on, twist, and put the hook through. So we've got a figure eight on there, just the same as when you start with a cap band. Grab that like any other band you have on there. Try not to do what I just did and make it go all twisty. Pull it through just that first loop and rehook it. Exactly the same as if it were a single band. Well, it's a single band, but you know what I mean, as if it wasn't capped. <coughs> and the last one on this side going to pull that underneath 
the left hand side of the cap band which is actually two loops like so and reconnect so we're going to get whatever band we're going to use for this connecting band here I've used the glitter white here but you can use a toning band to the wings so I'm using my glitter white and you just pull that carefully through give it a little bit of a stretch down so you make sure you get those cap bands in all the way through those bands just not the one on the end <coughs> sorry please excuse my voice I haven't been well <coughs> okay now see this one's got twisted we don't really want it to be twisted so before you attach it back up again I would grab both sides of it and twist it around to where it should be it's the easiest thing to do to do it now rather than trying to fix it up later so of course you can fix it up later there you go we have one wing so now we just have three bands three loops on the hook so we're going to take that off turn it around like so we're going to do the same thing on the other side so it's exactly the same again outside band for the wing make sure it's straight and then you're going to cap a gold jelly whatever your inside band is pull it under that first loop and reconnect so it's going through just so it wasn't capped <coughs> then we're going to get the next outside colour and pull it under the left hand side which is two loops Whoa, or we could fling it off into the never never oh dear okay well we could start again There you go. I'm going to leave this in so that you can see that, yeah, it happens to all of us. There you go. We're back. So let's start again with the wing on this side. We want an outside band colour. Just going through that one band, one loop. An inside band colour. And pull that that through the left hand side loop, reattach, grab an outside band colour and just pull that through that left hand side of the cap band, reattach, grab the cap band, cap it, that's your inside colour, pull that through just the left hand side loop, first loop on there and we finish off this wing with the outside colour pulled through the left hand side of that which is two loops and reattach. <coughs> we get our gathering band which again in our case here we're going to use the white, glitter white. So we're going to pull it through all of the bands on the hook except for the white band, the white glitter white holding the other wing like so give it a little tweak to spread it out nicely if there are any bands that are twisted you can untwist they look a bit wonky the one looks like it's a bit wonky so it's sitting a little bit funny like that <coughs> So what I would do is I would check and see which way it needs to twist so that it's looping properly and twist it over from both sides so that you've got a nice loop. See how that's sitting much nicer now? Not all twisted up. Alrighty. Then we grab a gathering band to finish off. And I'm going to use the same colour band as I used on the outside of the wings for this one. Okay. 
but you can look at mine for inspiration or you can use your own colour scheme as you wish. So there you go. To start the next one, same process, we're going to start with a base band of glitter white. And then this one I'm going to do with the turquoise. So we'll grab a turquoise, bring it through just that left band, grab gold jelly, cap it, pull it under just the left hand band, and catch it again, just as you would normally. Then we're going to grab another outside band, and pull it through that left hand side which is the two loops and reattach then we're going to grab another jelly gold band your inside colour cap it pull it through just that left hand or lift the left hand over and then attach the two loops on that left hand side there. Try and keep the um, bands when you cap them sort of sitting on top like that it's much easier if they're not twisted around to pull the next band through. So it's the last band on this wing you just pull it through and reattach. So there we go, grab our gathering band and pull that through all but this white. So all the bands that you use to make the wing. Give it a little bit of a tweak by just positioning these bands so that they're lining up in the centre there. And there's our wing for the next one. Turning around and reattaching those bands in the same order. <coughs> you can give it a good sort of stretch like that, it'll find its own sort of happy place. There we go. So we're going to start the other wing. Just adjust this light and see if it makes any difference. Hopefully, it won't strobe too much. Alright, so we're bringing that through an outside band through. So it's the other side of the glitter white. I'm going to cap the inside collar and pull that through just the left hand side. And put that back on. Keep it on the top there. <coughs> Grab another one, the outside colour. Pull it through just that left hand loops. Reattach. It's not a focus for me, does it? There we go. Grab the gold band again. It, pull it through just that left. Make sure you go over the top of that turquoise band. Good on. And then here's the last outside band. Pulling it under the two loops. Oops, I've caught one of the loops. So we'll pull it under the two loops. We can lift those loops over if that's what you prefer. It's quite tight though. Make sure we get that one back in an untwisted state if we can, like that, and rehook. Grab our gathering band and pull it through all of the bands. Except 
or the ones that are gathering the other one. So all of the bands that make the wing on that side. Like so. They look like they're in pretty good order. Just double check. See how it doesn't really matter if those inside cat bands get twisted. But it would probably um, look a bit funny if the inside cat bands were the dual layer bands. Grab our finishing band and pop it through the four loops on there. Make sure it's not twisted and pop it back on. And that's our next one. Alright, I'll do one more of these. You should have the idea by now. You can always rewind and check again. So we have our starting band to form the base, grab our outside wing colour, put it through just the left. Try and keep it straight. It's one advantage to using the limited edition is that it's not as difficult to keep the bands looking straight. Inside band colour, cap it. Pull it through just that left hand loop and reattach it. Make sure you've got both of those loops. Keep it sitting on the top there. Grab an outside colour, pulling it through the left hand side which is two loops there. And reattach. Have your inside colour, cap it, pull it through that left hand one and make sure it goes through both of those loops capped. And the last one for the colours on this is to bring it through one, two loops which is the left hand side of that cap band and try not to get it twisted and if you do see if you can fix it up and there we go so that's another wing pull through your gathering band colour and try not to get them twisted as they come through and we don't want it to go through this one because that's going to take be the base of our other wing Here we go. Give it a bit of a tweak, a bit of a squish sometimes works with this and that's looking pretty good. So we turn it round, flip it over around to the other side. If you've got a two-ended hook, oh completely out of shot here, I find the turning around again keeping it on camera a bit tricky. Alrighty, so this one's going to be the base of our other wing. So we grab an outside colour, <clears throat> move that wing down there, grab the inside colour, cap it, go under just the left hand side of that, try and make sure that stays untwisted, and then over the top of that band and make sure you catch both loops of that. Next one is an outside colour again, going through both of those loops on the left hand side only. Pull it up, this band wants to twist like crazy. Okay, attach it. Inside colour, cap it, through just that left hand one, over the top and through that loop two loops and the last one on this wing is the outside colour going under the two loops of the cat band you see there's two loops there going under that and popping it on your hook grab our gathering band and sliding it through everything except for the band holding the band holding the other wing up like
back, so Let's see if there's any obvious twists. Attach that. Give it a bit of a tweak or a squish. If you think it needs it. If you think it's looking a bit uneven, you might want to even it up between the back and the front. And otherwise, we can just grab our band to loop those together. And you would just continue doing those gypsy moth patterns until you got to the length of bracelet that you wanted. I'm actually wearing one of mine as a pendant. So you could do this and just put a, um, a what do you call it, jump ring something, an attachment there, a clasp, and then put a, a chain or a bit of leather thong or something like that through it. And uh, yeah, you could actually wear it. It looks quite nice as a pendant. If you're going to do that, you probably want to uh, triple cap this bottom part so that it's not hanging loose like that. But anyway, that is the Gypsy Moth design. Um, I hope this has been helpful and that you can easily make it. If you're not sure, please rewind and go back and have a look at the beginning of the tutorial again. If you've liked it and it has helped you, can you please give a thumbs up to this tutorial? And if you haven't already, subscribe. I've got more tutorials coming out. If you do make this, I'd love to see it on Instagram. Could you tag me please in your comments and on your photos? And hashtag crazy just might work and gypsy moth bracelet. That'd be wonderful. Great. Catch you later, guys. Bye.